We are going to do the Grand Pooh Bear Colin show. Hi, Mitch Flower Power. What's your favorite like recent game? Elden Ring. And man. I was just gonna say you're not allowed to say Elden Ring. You're not allowed to say Elden Ring? <laughs> okay, I'm yeah. gonna um I played this one game called Bots Are Stupid, which was like a platforming game, but you code in it. I thought that one was really fun. Loved Dome Keeper. Have you played Dome Keeper? No, I haven't. Dome Keeper is really great. I love Dome Keeper a lot. What's that one about? It's about keep um well when keeping domes, stealing the resources of a different planet is the best way to describe it, I guess. Oh man, um, I recently just played Wrestling Empire. I don't know if you <laughs> that <laughs> I game's think I really saw good. That, yeah. Yep, I actually am a doctorate. I actually teach a game design program in upstate New York. Oh, you're a, a game a doctorate gamer. Would you ever come over to a college and do like a speech run sessions at a college campus? Hell yeah, I, dude, I love college towns. That originally, originally, the when I pitched it originally, that was the idea was to go to college towns. That was the original idea right. I pitched. And then it kind of evolved into bigger cities and things as things do. So yeah, no, I 100%. Oh yeah, bring, yeah, definitely bring the pets on. This is very neat. Did yeah. you dress up for this moment right here, Destiny? <laughs> uh no that's just like how i dress you know oh. i got a kitty right here ah just thanks for out. the thanks for showing off the pet i appreciate yeah. it so what's been up how how what are we what are we doing for subathon you know like what are we working on um we're doing some stuff you know some secrets and whatnot Let's we got see. a little bit of uh entertainment at night for uh subathon i've been designing a way for poo to stay with chat at night uh so we've essentially cloned poo into a tts and then I hooked that TTS into chat GPT. <laughs> so now, now you can talk to Pooh at night when he's sleeping and he'll still talk to you mm -hmm. and uh, acknowledge you, but you'll have to pay for it probably. Yeah, yeah it's probably like 100 bits like or so, yeah. I don't know. We'll, we'll see yeah. how that's gonna go, yeah. That's we'll see be, how that works. That's gonna be fun, yeah, well, uh, it's gonna be fun. Oh, I nice. think that's the new hat, oh, actually. That's there we the go. Speed run, that's the speedrun.com slash shop hat, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. that's the new pretty one. Pretty good hat. Yeah. I have a pretty good shirt, too. Uh, oh no, my fucking are. God, how do you have that? <laughs> Funny thing about that hat, actually. Uh, so originally they had them, they were making them, and they had a green underneath the bill, and I made them destroy all those ones. I wanna money. know what stuff you collect two things i guess i collect air force one shoes and then i also like video game consoles specifically ones that are painted but i haven't even gotten one in like two years anything like custom painted by an artist that's like one of one that that's what i really really want in life now more mm. than anything i think whoa hey. you got a hat collection i also got the uh hot fire heard you talking about how you don't use the arcade anymore uh, what are some other expensive purchases that you don't necessarily use? It's not that I don't use it. It's that every time I go to use it, I feel like I get overwhelmed. My, I never have like a friend over that's like, man, I really love tech and tag tournament. And then I can be like, oh, really? Well, I have tech and tag tournament. You know yeah. what I mean? No, it never, it never happens. Like all my real life friends are kind of normies that come over to my house. Breath of the Wild, 120 shrines. Just do it. I'll do it. I'll do it before Tears of the Kingdom comes out actually i'll 100 percent do 100 ish of the shrines yo when you gonna make a, a hack man when am i gonna make a hack yeah <sighs> you know my wife's actually been pushing me to make a hack but yeah, it's, it, it's so many years like it's years of work the problem is is that i i feel like i won't get uh i'm i'm, I'm super self-conscious and have yeah. a very fragile ego right and i'm not gonna get compared to like mine's gonna get automatically compared to every like to Barb and I, Jazz. absolutely you yeah. know that you know that I, I know get, so what if it's whack you. what if it's whack as shit though you know what I mean like I, nah I doubt it yeah you get D to the board you know to help you I might it it would either be one thing where I would never fin I don't know I've thought about it my my wife's been kind of pushing me to do it lately so I've been I've been A thinking more seven. and more and more and more about it you know. Is chat GPT ruining the world? I don't think chat GPT is specifically ruining the world right now because luckily most people aren't even using it. And those who are don't like are so like I'm learning how to use it. Like the thing we were talking about with uh, Destiny Hacks earlier, how chat is going to be able to basically talk to me while I'm sleeping. Uh, that is a real thing. I... I I don't like I don't think that my job is immune from AI at this point. I think that there will be full-blown AI entertainers that are more entertaining than I am, 
They're more entertaining than humans um, to this point. And if I think that about my job, it just scares me about all the jobs. And also what makes me nervous about AI and chat GBT right now is how overconfident we might get about certain things uh, and using them and relying on them to a certain point. Um, especially like, like if I was in school right now, like my nephews use it to write a few, a few papers. He told me that. And I was just like, fuck man. Like, I don't know if I would have wrote anything. I don't know if I would have done anything. You know what I mean? And if you, if you know how to really use the tool, you can really make it sound like you and be you. Yeah. So I don't know. It's just, uh, it's scary. We all know the, uh, biggest night of my career. <laughs> Uh, what are some other of the worst technical issues that you've experienced during streaming? The, I'd say the most other most embarrassing moment was probably when we were doing a day where uh, like someone sent me a, a, a SD card and it was just nothing but like Super Nintendo ROM hacks. And they were like for a bunch of different games. Like there was Jeopardy and, you know, Mega Man's and like all sorts of different games. And we were just looking through and we picked out this one, uh, Danger Zone, and it had two games, and then there, it ended up being just naked pictures of Asian women. <sighs> um, let's do Danger Zone, because it was good enough to get a sequel. Let's try that one. <laughs> that was definitely the most other bad <laughs> moment, and most people know that one. So, any chance of getting some, uh, Grand Pooh Bear merch that isn't apparel. What do you mean? Like man thongs? Like, no, that's still a that's still apparel. But yeah, I wanted to, to know. Like, I know that you snowboard, but have you ever skied? Yeah, I I actually started off skiing. I skied until I was like six. So I skied probably from like ages three to six uh, exclusively. My sister's boyfriend at the time. Uh, she's 10 years older than me. He snowboarded, and I thought he was the coolest man in the world. Um, and so I wanted to snowboard like he did. And so that's why I actually changed. Um, but even then, I still skied like every once in a while. Telemarking though is really fun. I'm actually, what I've been trying to learn is mono skiing, which is like, uh, like paraplegics. Uh, oh, yeah, the yeah. sit down. And it just looks so fucking fun. Right before the pandemic, there was gonna be speedrun sessions in Los Angeles. And I was very excited to finally get to go to speedrun sessions in Los Angeles. <laughs> yes, so that speedrun sessions in particular uh, was going to be particularly it special. Yeah, yeah, because it was not just gonna be a speedrun sessions. It was a an actual three-day <laughs> speedrun event. Uh, it was gonna kind of be like a, a really solid cross between GDQ and what we did at MMC. Um, it was a three-day speedrun event we were gonna have uh, I had people from Wings for Life that were going to be out there. We had, uh, oh, man, we had so, the lineup for that thing was going to be off the chain. It was amazing. We had so many great runners. It is something that we're trying to get back off the ground. So I will say, I will guarantee we will be in Los Angeles at some point. Um, I can excited. guarantee that, but I don't know if it's going to be the big one, but we're really hoping right. to have that big one come back. Yeah. In Los Angeles. Well, so. Oh man, I love you. I love you to death, man. man. I really do. Man. Like, I swear, um, it was because, no, I, I finally got to tell a story. All right, tell me. I found you through Carl and I remember I had went to, went to Twitch to watch Carl and then he raided you. And yo, that shit is so true. You say it all the time. You was like, yo, when people first meet me, they don't like me. When I met you, I was like, yo, get this, get the fuck out of here, yo. Let's get, I'm gonna turn this shit off, yo. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I watched you for a little bit, watched you for a little bit, but then you grew on me like, like a- Like, like a fungus. Fucking <laughs> like, yo, I was like, I love this dude. I was like, yo, if me and him grew up, who would I would have been? Who would you would have been in some shit? <laughs> oh, man. You'd have been best fucking friends. I know that's a fact. Oh, oh man, that's funny. I mean, that's how it is. Yeah. People don't like me when they first meet. It's all right. That is the call-in show uh, for this month. We'll do another one at the end of next month.